and welcome back to my channel. Today I picked up something super exciting. I picked it up because the other day I went on a ride and it was a crazy windy day and having long blonde hair, that's like my pride and joy. Uh, my other Instagram account is at shampoo diva. So for those of you who follow me, you know that I'm all about good hair and hair care and things like that. So that one day when my hair got so tangled, it was to the point where I felt like having to cut pieces of it off. I said enough is enough. And I ordered myself one of these. This is called a high tail bike hair protector. So today I'm gonna be walking you through the installation of that protector on my pork T1 helmet. So where you can get yourself one of these is the hightailhair.com website. I myself, I'm lucky that one of our local Lidas ladies operates Stella Crew and Stella Crew is one of the pickup locations for the Hightail Hair, just like half an hour down the highway from me. So I was able to order it and pick it up the same day. I'm so grateful I was able to do it. So huge shout out to Krista from Stella Crew because this was like the fastest delivery slash pickup that I've ever done. So that was amazing. So let me open this up and uh, and let's install it. Let's see how this works. Oh my gosh, I am kind of excited. Well, before I do it, I'll show you what it's supposed to be looking like. So the red part is the high tail and it basically will fit all your hair into a pouch behind your helmet and it's supposed to keep your hair tangle free. So let's open this up. I need like some Jeopardy music or something right now. Okay, so it comes with instructions. And that's it. Okay. So these are the pieces that it comes with. There's like some 3M tape here, double-sided, and I guess that's the actual pouch. I have no idea how this is gonna work. Okay, I better read instructions. I am so terrible for not reading instructions and then I fumble around and, you know, it's like an IKEA disaster. <laughs> okay, so what am I supposed to be doing? There's a spacing template, which is this. There's like a little piece of tape behind it, I think. And then there is a clip. I don't have a clip. Oh, I guess these things here are called clips. It's like all in one. I am really confused right now. Thank goodness I have the blonde hair to blame. So hold on here for a second. Clean the bottom rim of your helmet with either a half water, half alcohol solution or regular dish soap. Dry thoroughly. If you skip this step, you risk the adhesive not bonding properly. Okay, so where this is gonna go is behind the helmet, back in this vicinity. I'm gonna go clean this up, I'm gonna be right back. So here's a tip for you. If you have eyeglass cleaner at home, I used to be an optician and uh, slash contact lens fitter for 15 years. Your eyeglass cleaner is a mild alcohol solution just mixed with water. So I'm gonna just use that because I know it will take any grease off, yet it is gentle on paint and things like that. So, and I'm just using one of the microfiber cleaning cloths. I'm sure that this is gonna be absolutely fabulous. So, Step number two, apply spacing template 
to the center of the helmet near the bottom of the rim. So there's a little sticky here. Peel it off. I'm kind of lucky because I actually have almost like a little line running up where I can see where the helmet center is. So I'm gonna just apply it like this. This is cardboard. I assume it will come off in the process. Step number three. Hold the frame and pop it up to the helmet. Use the spacing template to ensure clips will attach correctly where spacing template is placed. If not, adjust spacing template accordingly. Okay. Oh. Okay, so this the spacing template did not stick too well. I guess it's a good thing because you want to get it off afterwards, right? So, let's see. I am so confused. Hashtag send help. So there are sticky things, but also when you look inside here, you'll see that there's I'm gonna show you. there's almost like these little things. I feel like something should go in between here, like the edge of the helmet. Oh my god, I figured it out. Get out of town. Of course it makes sense. Take the clips off the frame. So these things, where you see the stickies. Oh my god. Okay. So there's one. I just don't know where I'm supposed to be placing these. Okay. Okay, so here, here's how it's going to work. You peel the red tape or the red plastic off and you're supposed to put it in this little notch that is happening here and you line it up with the bottom of the helmet. apply some pressure and I'll give you a closer look here as well. Isn't it so funny if we like actually pay attention to instructions and actually like focus? Things are you so the first clip is in place so it's Along the bottom rim of the helmet, I try to put it as close as possible. And I'm gonna put the second one over on this side here. I can do this, I can do this. I can do hard things. <laughs> so again, this is how it comes. But don't be deceived because this actually comes off. Yay. Remove the red tape. Expose the stickiness. template thing came off again. So if your helmet, I guess, is really clean, the template doesn't stay on the floor, but that's okay. I was wondering if it's gonna leave some like residue or something behind, so this is actually good. So this is what it looks like 
on the back. If you have a black helmet, this will be virtually invisible. Mine is kind of a retro brown here. So once this is done, you can remove this guy, the template, and that's what you're left with. So if you don't wear the high tail, this is what you're left with. Looks totally sleek, totally fine. I'm loving it so far. Okay, next step. I guess I'm supposed to apply pressure for 10 seconds. Let me do it a little bit longer. All right, and then... Okay, so they recommend the the whole thing to set for about 20 minutes before using. Okay, so now the actual product. The elastic side will go down. So it's gonna look like this from behind. So I'm gonna just place this into there's, if you look at it this way, do you see like there's almost like little slots? So they line up with these little tabs. And it's all kind of very soft and almost like a rubbery material. So I think it's going to be super easy to do. Yeah. And it, it sort of clips in. And I'm going to do the other side as well. I will let this set for 20 minutes before I actually do it. And we are back. 20 minutes later, this is what it looks like. This is what it looks like underneath. So the whole idea is that your hair is gonna go inside this little pouch thing. So let's give this a try. I suppose this would work for on half helmets too. I don't know. I guess it depends on how high up it comes. So. In. I can't see, but I can kind of feel. This is awesome, and you can't even feel it. Well, this was fun. I think I'm gonna really like this. And there's a lot of space. Like, you could fit some really, really long hair in there. Mine is only down to my mid back, so it's not all that long but it's enough to get crazy tangled. So. Here's what it looks like when I take it off. You have to take it out on a proper ride, but I can imagine that this will make my life so much easier. So. This is high tail hair. And if you have long hair, whether you're a guy or whether you're a lady, I think you need one of these. So go grab yourself one of the high tail hairs. They are uh, on hightailhair.com. Uh, if you're on, on Vancouver Island, you can pick these up from Della Crew as well. And thank you so much for watching. I'm gonna see you again next time. Look, even my assistant showed up. She came to check things out. This is Violet the Bengal. She's my office assistant.
and that's just how we roll around here <laughs> anyway thanks so much for watching and i'll see you again next time